going. So if you're at the getting back together. Taylor Swift on channel 957. Oh, oh, what is that? Ah. 7708 957 caller 10 right now. We've got your Michigan Lottery scratch off. Three dollar red line bingo is the card. You have 17 chances to scratch and win one hundred thousand dollars. Every time you scratch, you have a chance to win up to hundred thousand dollars. Seven seven zero eight ninety five seven caller number ten. You <sighs> are gonna get to scratch 17 of these cards. It's we were another just talking about how Friday. if you won a hundred grand this weekend or today, it would make your weekend. Probably it would make your weekend. And then it would. We decided it would make the next couple of weekends. Uh, it would probably wear off though. Like you would be super excited this weekend. Oh, Definitely. mine wouldn't wear off. Mine would keep going. You would still. I think I would have it spent. It's a hundred grand. I'd have it spent by Christmas. Well, that's a lot of weekends from now. At, at how many weekends, Amanda? That's like 17 weekends. It's like 87 weekends. 87 and a half weekends. Connie and Curtis, who is this? Chris. Chris, Chris. you're our winner. Boom! Oh, cool. Chris, yeah. if you won Snap. if you won $100,000, how long do you think before like it wore off, the excitement? I don't know, man. That's a long time ago. Curtis says his he would be done being happy by the end of this weekend. I think I would spend most of the money. Would you be happy longer than this weekend, Chris? Uh, no, I'll be right with Curtis. Yeah, you oh, just go out, course. you grab that cash, and you go. <laughs> you you buy some Christmas presents. You you do. You, Your wife is not letting you blow a hundred grand. She wouldn't know. You're gonna do it behind my her wife back. Isn't even. Yeah, yep. see. You guys are scandalous. Chris and I know that if you scratch off a hundred thousand dollar winner on your three dollar red line bingo card, you go right to the uh, the Michigan Lottery office there on Plainfield. You're in there. You get your check, and then you just hit. You hit the stores. You can't not tell her. <laughs> you make it happen. That's cause for divorce. No, because when she finds out. And Chris, back me up on this. Uh, <laughs> your wife, I'm probably like my wife, would be just as happy knowing that you won twenty five hundred dollars. Right, right. Oh, so you're going to lie. <laughs> yeah. And tell her you won 2500 then, instead of 100 grand. And then you hit her with some awesome Christmas presents. You guys. Right. This is where men get in trouble. Why? Bad plans. <laughs> Seems like a great Y'all got plan. some bad plans Chris, going on here. Chris, I hope that you have to deal with the struggle of what to do with yeah, your $100,000. That would be great. I hope you scratch and win. So uh, <laughs> He's talking to somebody right Okay, now. you hold on. I'm putting Chris on hold. Chris, you hold on. We'll a man your, is going to deal with you now. We'll get your information. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure all this going on. Uh, uh, we will have another shot next Friday. Next Friday is our last $3 red line bingo Friday. Because we get a new, it's Halloweener. We get a new game every month. Next Friday is Halloween. Are we dressing up? I don't know. Last year we dressed up. You were Abby from NCIS, and you rocked it. You looked yeah, great. You had you. the lab coat. You had uh, your hair done up. I think you went darker with the hair, didn't you? Ponytails, just ponytails. Ponytails, yeah. and you had rings on and all kinds. You had the little neck all sorts thing. of leather. Uh, and I was one of the uh, one of the little guys from Despicable Me. I was a minion. Minion. Uh, this They're year, so cute. Well, I don't know what will be. But we should. We should dress up again. Now, Amanda, you... I don't She's remember, on the phone with Chris. I don't Chris. remember Amanda dressing up last year. Did she dress up? I don't think she did. No, she did not. She, she did not. Okay, so this year, she the three of up. us need to dress up, right? Well, we got an email from our company telling us to dress up yesterday. We did? You didn't see that? No, those go straight to delete. It said... Uh, <laughs> they do not. <laughs> they do. Anytime that I get one of those, delete. It said, hey, we're fun. Dress up next Friday oh, for okay. Halloween and... You could win something, I think. Oh. We could win. Well, if we could win, then we should definitely you do it. You could win a party for our building. Well, I would like that. <laughs> I would like that, too. Okay. Yeah. Well, then we'll dress up. The three of us we will do something. Do we want to do a theme? Like the three of us as a theme? No. We all want to have our separate costumes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going separate costumes uh, next Friday. Are you going to dress up next Friday, Amanda? Yes. Okay. What are you going to be? I don't know yet. Do you want mm. to go in on a theme? Connie has no. poo-pooed. Okay. <laughs> 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 you know what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't want to be. I don't want to be attached to a theme because I know it's yes. going to happen. I'm gonna put it off till Wednesday, yes. and then I'm not gonna be able to find anything to go with okay. your exactly very out of this too. world theme that yeah. you end up choosing for you know, us. Let's be mushrooms on the planet Mars. <laughs> you know what's what? gonna happen though? No. I'm gonna come in, and I'm gonna come in in my own costume, my standalone costume, yep. and you two are gonna be matching, and you're pulling a fast one on me. Wait, right what now. are you gonna be? Do I don't you know? know. I don't know. 
for next Friday. Mm. I don't know what I will be. Are you going to do something different than you and Katie are doing? Yes, because okay. it won't. Because last year I was the minion, and that is a standalone. Yeah. But this year the uh, the group costume that we're doing it it is not uh, it's not really conducive to just being by myself. Okay. So I'm going to have to come up with something a secondary Halloween costume mm. next. Week. Me too. I'm not going to be able to do what I'm doing tomorrow night. Unless you I'll want just... me to go Ed McMahon, you wear the same thing, and I could be the ghost of Ed McMahon. <laughs> but then we are. Connie's so... got a bunch of face paint, so. <laughs> That's I do. True. Connie is. I should probably do something with the face paint. Connie's going to a party tomorrow, and what? she and a uh, friend of hers are going to be <laughs> the publisher's clearinghouse uh, check presentation, mm-hmm. where the one person, the the friend, is the knocking on the door guy, and Connie is the surprised Which, inside the house guy. I didn't even know they still did that. What? Did you know they still did that? And, and it's I, funny, after he asked me if I would do it, I, like the next week, I saw a, so, a commercial for it, and I was like, "Oh, they do." And still my do mom it. mentioned it last weekend, so I was like, "Okay, this is definitely for." Did your mom age. mention it because she's hoping she's going to win it? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, they got that publisher's clearinghouse coming up. My mom's crossed. a gambler. Yeah, she feels anything that she has a chance to win that's legit. She fills it out. I don't what? get what is. Is it just like a drawing, or do you have to like? I heard it isn't it like something you have to do with buying magazine subscriptions or you, something. You buy magazines, and then they knock on your door and they give you a big check. Okay. Yeah, but like I used to get it in the mail, and I didn't buy magazines okay. from them anyway. Well, remember you would get the big, uh, you get the thing that say you may already be a winner, yeah. and you can't win if you don't send it back. So you don't need to. Now get you can a ma- do it online. Apparently, you don't need to get a magazine. You just need to mail the card back. Okay. So yeah. I think because they're not allowed to make you buy something right. to enter, right. so they have to send you a card and. If you mail this back, you could win. Uh-huh. But we never mail it back. I don't even get them in the mail. You remember you you don't get a lot of mail though that the rest of us in the real world seem oh. to get. You don't get Thank like God. The, you don't get the shopping things no. anymore. No, like, you're missing out on a lot of mail. <laughs> and I'm glad I get enough junk from just the places that I do shop. Do you at. think that your mailman is stealing them? No. <laughs> I think that he is. Mail- I think. No. We- I bet the mailman has a surplus of. That's Flyers happened. Flyers like that that he didn't even need to give he or she needed to give she. anybody. That's that has happened. I had a uh, a mailman who I hated, and I went on the radio on a different Why? radio station by myself. I was I had a show by myself, uh-huh. and I said I hate my mailman because my mailman would hang on to things. So you know how you get the uh, thing and it says mailman deliver between Monday and Wednesday, yeah. and I would get it on Thursday or Friday. Every time. And I never got my Sports Illustrated on time. Like, I would get it on Saturday, and it comes out on Thursday. Okay. So I went on the radio, and I was bashing this person. Oh, my gosh. And were they listening? No, they weren't okay. listening. But I heard from so many male people saying that uh, that person just was doing a bad job. Oh, like, it okay. was. Like, I was right to be wrong. And I should call the post office and tell on them. And I was like, I'm not going to tell on them, because then they're going to, like, tear up my mail, or I'm not going to get billed. They're going to spit on it. Or they'll go postal. Wow, they could go postal. That's a thing because of them, right? Mm. And I don't want that in the neighborhood hmm. at all. And I it don't seems want to like it'd be very confusing to be a male person, though. Right. My dad was for a while. Was he? Yeah, and he did like rural. I don't know how to say the word right. Rural. rural. Yes. Yeah. That and he had to use his own vehicle. Yeah. And he had this teeny tiny little car. And there, one time, I guess there was somebody who ordered like a ab like workout oh, machine okay. oh, he's like no. trying to jam the jam this like huge ab machine they into send his that car. through the u.s post <laughs> yes. office it didn't fit in his car <laughs> he was like jamming it into the back seat of his car he had to like sit on the opposite side of his car and like steer with his left hand what? and his left foot yeah, it was real weird <sighs> that is not safe I, it's not safe but it was totally legal because he was a mailman wow uh, that that's hilarious nuts. So, like, a rural male person has to just put their mail in the backseat of their car? Yeah, where we live, that's how it mm-hmm. worked. Wow. Yeah, you always see them sitting in the other side and, and driving with their left foot. <laughs> that's co- No, they it's on the other side in, like, me- real mail trucks. No, Everything is I'm on talking about side. rural ones. You see them sitting okay. on the other side of the car all the time. Because they got to reach in yep. into the mailboxes. Yep. They're on that side. You shouldn't be driving with your left foot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Ever. think I would be able to do it. I need to spend more time studying the rural mail routes. I dated a guy who was a mail carrier what is going on <laughs> where how, what was that he, like he played football he played football <laughs> at central okay and then he got his master's degree in mail delivery no and something else um and then he became a mail person in mount pleasant okay is he still a mailman i have no idea reach out reach out i don't know hey i haven't talked to you in like 
10 years. Can you, you drive with your left foot? Are you a mailman? <laughs> oh, Would it be the most random? He had the rural route? Yeah, no. I don't know. He, okay. No, he did not. He got an actual truck. He was in was the city, the big city of Mount P. Where everything was on the actual other yes. side, mm-hmm. so that he was all set mm-hmm. with that. But yeah, left foot driving in a rural area, that's not what you're looking for. <laughs> well, that's for. the best place to do it, though. Like, if you're going to swerve, yeah, but yeah. you probably want it to be out in the country, right? You, right. Got, you got deers running out in front of you. He's not you're, going that fast. You got slick roads. You got the frozen fog from yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, this is not. This is not. You're stopping okay. to deliver mail, though. You're not going that. But fast. how do you reach the break? Like you got to get way over on the break, <laughs> and you're sitting on the shifter. It's tough. That's a tough business. <laughs> I mean, you're a, sitting on the shifter. Right. You can't be in the seat and <laughs> reaching all the way over doing the splits. Maybe, maybe mm. my dad sat like on the console. You probably could. You wouldn't be able to do it if you had a stick shift. Yeah. No. I, I don't think I could do it in my <laughs> minivan because I got bucket seats. You have to have a bench. You, yeah. You have to have a bench. Yeah. And, and if you don't have a bench, then you, it's undoable. <laughs> My dad did it. He didn't have a bench. He had no bench. He had like a little like topaz. The Mercury Topaz. topaz. The, the rural route <laughs> mail delivery like, person's what he had. car of choice. Wasn't it kind of like a Taurus? Kind of. Okay. Yeah, but they definitely didn't have a bench. It's smaller than a Taurus. You're thinking the okay. Sable. The Sable was the Mercury Oh, I don't remember Taurus. what a Taurus It was so was little. Like... I wish I had a photo of it. So little, then he was able. It was like two feet across, so he was able to just get his left Maybe, foot over. Maybe, but I feel like he sat on the the right-hand seat. That seems dangerous. <laughs> and it we're probably pro- was. Why did he leave this job? Well, he had like he just did a part time, like he had his full time job, and okay. then just did this part time. Part time rural <laughs> route mail delivery. Yeah, I I need this. I, I have my afternoons huh. free. You, you should, <laughs> right? You I, totally should. And I have a minivan. I could fit all kinds of stuff in the back. Think how many ab lifters you could fit in there. Like thirty, <laughs> probably. <laughs> like could. what farmer needs a workout machine like that? Aren't right. they doing enough? They should be doing enough. Maybe he got it for his wife. <laughs> I feel like she's doing enough. Maybe she's farming too. They're all doing Maybe enough. Maybe it's for a kid. Maybe it was for one Maybe of it was a Christmas present. Wow. You don't know. <laughs> yes, dude. Why are you judging the farmers? No kidding. I'm not. All of a sudden. It's very judgy. No, I was being Amanda. so unjudgy no. by saying I'm sure judgy. they're already way in shape. You're being judgy. It seems like you were judging a little no, bit. No, I was trying to be nice. Rural route. <laughs> if you drive a rural route, we want to hear from you with your left foot. <laughs> uh, just to reach out to us. You can tweet uh, at Connie and Curtis. You can post on our Facebook page, Connie and Curtis. You can send <clears> us an email. Email at ConnieandCurtis.com. There are a lot of ways to get a hold of us. Just reach out with your <laughs> left reach foot. reach out with your left foot. And hit send. Okay, it's 823. Connie and Curtis. right. That's how a superhero learns to fly. Love the song, the script, superheroes, the channel 95.7. It's 835. 50 degrees now. Yay! Yay, it's warming up. It, yeah, it's getting balmy. It said 52 on my indoor-outdoor thermometer when I woke up this morning. Really? At my house. And I was like... That's not right. So then I looked at the phone, and the phone said it was 48. And I'm like, well, maybe it is right, right near the house, a little bit warmer. I mean, that was some magical, magical times this morning. I bet. There was no frost. There was nothing. <clears throat> Did I ever tell you um, about my indoor-outdoor thermometer? I know that you got one, and you were going to keep it in the kitchen because Dan wanted to see it, too. Didn't work. We returned it. Oh, no. And then... They didn't have one we wanted, so he didn't get another one. Okay. And then about a week went by, and one day, (laughs) Dan says to me, I had an epiphany last night, and I said, what? An epiphany? Mm -hmm. That's big. Did you know that the outdoor sensor needs a battery, too? (laughs) So it did work. <laughs> oh, we had him had to put a battery in the outdoor part of it for so long he forgot uh, okay. that the outdoor part of it can use a battery or uses a battery. Right. So it should have been working. <sighs> so you were getting the indoor temp, just not the outdoor. Yeah. And you were wondering what the deal was. Yes. Like this doesn't work. It's for not- like a year. <laughs> like a oh. year. It went on for a year. You're talking about the one that was broken. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yay. And that's all it was. Now, had you thrown it away? No, we still had it. So you just put the battery in. And it was beautiful and oh. bold. And wow. It's worked ever since. My indoor outdoor occasionally will switch channels. So then it will say, hmm. like, it will not have a reading because I only have one sensor. Okay. Uh, and then I'll look at it and be like, what? Does it have the dashes? It'll have dashes. That's what mine does And sometimes. then I'll just hit it. 
back to number one, and okay. it says, oh, there I am. But it's like, who is hitting it to number two? Also, sometimes mine changes time zones just on its own. Oh, that's weird. And sometimes the time is way off. <laughs> like, I will wake up. I wake up at 425 every morning, right. and I go get in the shower. Mm-hmm. And some mornings, it will be like 1234, it will say. <laughs> and I'm like... That makes no sense to me. Uh, so then I have to do the math in my head, like what time is it when I get mm-hmm. out of the shower? And I usually shoot for about five to six minutes in a shower. <laughs> so if I can come out at 1240, yeah. I know that I've made it. But then I have to be careful because sometimes I wake up and it really is 1234 <laughs> and I go downstairs and I- You need a reliable clock that you can look uh, at. Yeah. I go to leave the house and then it's midnight. <laughs> That happened one time. I went down and my coffee maker had not fired. And I was like, what is wrong with my coffee maker? So I make the coffee and I get everything set and I've showered. I've done everything. And I'm walking out the door and I see the microwave at the corner of my eye. And it was like 120. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's 120. Uh, I'm showered. I'm up. That's the worst day ever. I just made coffee. What do you do? So I... Dumped the coffee out and went back to bed. I had to take a second shower within like three hours. Oh, you took another one? Heck yeah. I don't leave the house without You're a very fresh shower. showery. I'm quite showery. <laughs> I, and I like it. I like to be uh, freshly showered uh, as much time as I possibly If it can. took me five to six minutes in a shower and then I didn't have to do my hair afterwards. In and out. I would do it every minute yeah. of every day. I mean, it just refreshes me. I, I wake up. I get in the yeah. shower. I'm like, woo, there I am. Mm-hmm. And I have three shampoos that I rotate so I know what day it is uh, based on which shampoo I'm using. <laughs> I feel pretty good You're about it. You're very OCD about your cleanliness. I mean, you just want to be clean. You don't want to be <laughs> Stinky, right? You don't want me smelling all sweaty and, and poopy. Well, you guys are lucky because the other day, Dan, I think it was last weekend or something, he was like, let's go someplace. And I said, okay. And he goes, I'm going to go shower. And I go, I want to shower too. And he's like, no, we have to leave. Funny. I'm like. Ugh. You don't get to shower. So now I get to go stinky and you're going to be all smelling yes. sweet and wonderful. That's what people like. <laughs> <laughs> people don't like stink. People like smelling sweet. I just slapped some deodorant on and threw my hair up and walked out the door. Hey, that works. Like, I know. You're like, I'm ready. I, Let's do this. <laughs> uh-huh. It doesn't matter. And you're like, where are we going? And he's like, Secretary of State. We're getting our uh, new pictures taken. <laughs> oh, dang it. Connie and Kurt.